As the crisis at the Fukushima nuclear facility in Japan intensifies, military helicopters have been called in to dump seawater on at least one of the facility's stricken reactors. The operation began Thursday morning, local time, and the helicopter dropped numerous loads on Unit 3's damaged reactor. But the defense ministry says helicopter crews can only work for a limited amount of time before they have to switch off to limit radiation exposure. The dumping is intended to help cool the reactor and replenish water in a pool that's holding spent nuclear fuel rods. The government has also asked special police units to bring in water cannons, usually used on rioters, to spray on the spent fuel storage pool at Unit 4. Plant operators also say they've been getting close to finishing a new power line that could possibly alleviate the crisis by restoring the plant's cooling systems. We believe at this point that... However, in Washington, the chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission told lawmakers that all the water was gone from a spent fuel pool at the plant's Unit 4. He warned that the plant may be on the verge of spewing more radioactive material because the water is needed to keep spent rods from overheating. The U.S. has begun evacuating family members of some American personnel in Japan, and the U.S. Embassy is urging all Americans living within 50 miles of the plant to leave the area or stay indoors. So far, tens of thousands of people have been evacuated from a 20-kilometer radius around the plant. But a spokesman for Japan says the government has no plans to expand that evacuation zone. Other countries have complained that Japan has been too slow in releasing details about the crisis and too vague in its explanations. The chief of the UN nuclear agency said he would go to Japan to assess the situation. And he urged Tokyo to provide better information about the developing crisis. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.